Okay, in today's video, I am going to answer an email I received from a viewer here on the channel. This person is trying to get their life back on track. And the reason I wanted to make this video is because this person reminds me of myself. Their story is pretty much identical to mine. It's very, very similar. There's a couple key differences and we'll talk about those in a minute. Let me just go ahead and briefly read their short email. The subject is question and the message says, good morning. I recently stumbled across your channel in the hopes of catching up to my required math level for community college. I obtained my GED diploma earlier this year since I wanted to get my life back on track after years of not doing anything with my life. I dropped out of high school when I was in 10th grade. I'm 22 now. According to GED.com, I'm pretty much college ready in all subjects besides math. My question goes as follows. What should I learn in order to be on the same level as my peers? To be honest, I really wanted to learn calculus since it seems fun, to, fun, but I do not have the great fundamental knowledge of math to do so. Hope to hear from you soon. So first, let me just say that you shouldn't worry. I, I see that you're concerned because you want to be on the same level as your peers. And I think that's good. And I'm going to give you all kinds of advice in this video and things you can do so that you can catch up and be super ready for college and you know, be on par with your classmates and do awesome and all that stuff. But the reality is when you go to a community college with a GED, basically you go there, you pay some application fee. It's usually not too much. You take a test, it's called the placement test, and they will put you in certain classes based on your score on that test. Your situation is just like mine. I also uh, dropped out of high school when I was in the 10th grade. Um, I also got my GED and I also went to college around the same age uh, that you are. I was a little bit older than you were, than you are. Slightly older than you are when I went. The only difference is uh, I didn't go for math, I went for computer science. And I started at the very beginning. I started in like a pre-algebra class. So honestly, if you have to start there, that's okay, right? You're gonna do fine. So go to college, do it. Um, don't let anything hold you back. You're on the right track. You've already made the biggest step. That's the commitment to go. And I know there's a lot of people that think that, you know, going to college uh, isn't good or they think college is a waste of time and this and that. But honestly, there's no guarantees in life, right? People say college isn't a guarantee. There are no guarantees anyways, right? But I think it's better to go to college than not. And I think you're making a really good choice that's going to help you for the rest of your life. So in order to catch up to your peers, I don't know where you are in math. So I'm going to suggest a couple books and then I'm going to give you another alternative. And I'll leave links in the description to all of these books in case you want to check them out. And I'm going to recommend textbooks, not workbooks, actual college level textbooks that you can use to prepare for college and catch up. And these are books that you can have for the rest of your life. You know, once you buy one of these books, you'll have it forever. It's unlikely that um, you'll lose it unless you lose it or like it burns in a fire, but you know, it's very unlikely you'll lose your books. So this one here is called College Algebra Essentials. It's a book for college students who want to learn basic algebra. And it's a great book. It's by Blitzer. I've used this book to teach in college. I've taught uh, college algebra to students in actual college uh, using this book. And I think it's a great book. So awesome book good place to get started and you might be able to get started here. I think, I think you can, I think you can. So if you're going to college and you want to improve your math after college algebra, you would take a course called pre-calculus and you would take a course called trigonometry using a book like this one. This one's called a graphical approach to algebra and trigonometry. Highly recommend this book. This is the one by Hornsby, Lyle and Roxwald. So you can use this book and it will prepare you for what you mentioned, which was calculus. Calculus, there's many, many books. I'm just picking here the most popular one in the entire world probably. It's this one here. It's Calculus by Stewart. 
Uh, this is the one, well, I used a different version of this one when I was a student. I used the early Transcendentals version. It's not going to make a difference which one you get. This is a great book. It's awesome. And again, I'll leave a link in the description in case you want to check it out. So these are textbooks you can use. And you can just jump into calculus if you want. You might not understand some of it because you might not know trig. But then you can learn trig from the other books. So I recommend getting all three books and just starting right away and seeing what you can do. Another option is you can take online courses. I do have courses and they're super affordable. They're on my website, which is a terrible website, but it works. It's mathsorcer.com. Just go there and then just click on any of the courses you wanna take. It'll take you to the Udemy website. My courses are on Udemy, but if you get my courses, please use the links on my website because I've lowered the price. So you should always get a low price when you use my links. Also, it helps me greatly if you use my links. If you just go to Udemy, Udemy takes almost all of it. So please use my links from my website, mathsorcer.com. Start with College Algebra and then Treg and then Calc 1. And you can just get all of them if you want, right? Get all the courses and just start watching videos. And uh, the College Algebra one has assignments and it has solutions. So, and it follows the book I recommended by Blitzer. So it's a good place to, to start your, your math journey. And honestly, if you just bought the college algebra course and bought the college algebra book, I think that might be a good place for you to start. That, that's a really good place, I think, to where um, you, know, you can start your math journey and, and start doing well. So that's really cool. That's really cool, man. I, I, I think that's awesome that, that you're doing this. Um, it, you never said what you wanted to study. You just said uh, you're trying to catch up on your required math. But yeah, uh, whatever you decide to study, that's good. The fact that you're going to college is awesome. It said you wanted to learn calculus, so maybe you're going to be a math major. I don't know. Um, the fact you want to learn calculus is so cool. You know, I didn't even know what calculus was. Like, I think I had heard about it from a movie, uh, Stand and Deliver, but, like, I didn't know anything about math uh, when I went to college. I, I walked into college, and I told, uh, I told the counselor there, you know, because you, you talk to a counselor or an advisor, and I was like, I want to get a Ph.D. in computer science, I told him. And he's like, okay. He didn't laugh at me. You know, I had a GED just like you. And uh, he put me in like this uh, accelerated class. It was like pre-algebra and intermediate algebra, even before. That's even before college algebra. But I recommended college algebra for you because I think that, I don't know, I feel like for some reason I'm getting a vibe like you are a little bit better than I was, you know? So yeah, start with college algebra. Also, you can get the course. So when you have both, uh, I think that's going to help you greatly because you'll have the course where you can watch the videos and then you'll have the book where you can read. So I think that that might be uh, a good a good thing to do. If anyone else has advice uh, for this person, uh, leave a comment in the comment section below. I think it's great that you know you're trying to get your life back on track. Also, uh, if you're not a subscriber, consider hitting subscribe today. And if you want to learn mathematics, I have courses. My website, mathsorcerer.com, and I do have another YouTube channel which is on fitness, and I also do product reviews, but mostly fitness. And of course, it's called. The Fitness Sorcerer. So check it out if you're into fitness. Um, I post workout videos, uh, book reviews of old school cheesy bodybuilding books. I collect stuff. So yeah, nerding out over here. Anyways, keep doing mathematics.